Hi, this is David. Today we're going to talk about setting up source control to integrate with your Azure Web App and in order to do automatic deployments every time I push changes into source control. So the idea is that I have a source control repository right here with all my code for my web app right here. I've got a web app. It happens to be an ASP.NET application right here. I haven't done a whole lot with it. In fact, if I run this right now, I haven't. I, it's, it's essentially the template that comes with Visual Studio. You say File, New, Web App, and you get something that looks like this right here. So if you've ever done that development, you should recognize this template. When I go and create a new web app, which I've just done here, I get just a default page that looks like this. Again, very generic. But what I want to do is I want to take this code here and I want to push it to Azure to this web app right here. This web app right here. And not only do I want to do that, but I also want to set it up so that every time I make a change here and push it into my source control repository, that that automatically updates my live web application on Azure. So that's what I'm going to do. First thing you do is I have set up a GitHub repository right here. And I've got all my code checked into that, all my ASP.NET code. And what I need to do is set up this repository here, connect it to this web app. And I do that down here on the deployment center blade right here. And here I connect it to a source code repository. You see I've got a lot of options here. Azure repos, GitHub, Bitbucket, local Git repository. I'm connected to GitHub, so I come in here, I say continue, and it, I have some options here. If I want the very simple thing, just every time I push changes into my GitHub repository, push them right out to the the, the Azure web app. That's what I'll choose here. If I've got a whole pipeline where I just want to do some unit tests and some other things, then I want some more control over it, I'll use this Azure pipelines right here. But for my purposes, I'm sticking with something very simple. I click on continue, and it asks me, okay, what's the organization? In other words, who am I logging into GitHub as? I'd say David Giard. At this point, it might ask me to log in or to authorize the application, but I've done that recently. Um, I'll specify the name of the repository, DG Test Web App. Look back in GitHub, and you'll see that is the name of my repository right here. And I can specify a branch. I've only got the master branch right now, but if I wanted to, I could specify a specific branch that gets deployed. I click on continue and after reading the summary and seeing there are no errors I click on finish. And this is all set up right now. So we noticed that before when I clicked on this preview, I don't think anything has changed yet, I saw just the generic page. But if I go back to the deployment center I'm not doing anything yet, and I wait a minute or so, what I should see is that. And now it's kicked off this deployment. I didn't do anything other than connect these two together. It detected there's some changes in the GitHub repository that aren't here in my web app, and so it set up something to synchronize those changes, to pull the changes from source control and deploy them into here. And you can see the status is I'm not auto I'm not refreshing this at all. It is auto refreshing. It said pending. Now it says running. And in a minute it should say finished. It's a pretty small site, so it shouldn't take very long. And once it does say finished, then I should be able to go back to my web page and refresh it. And I'll see the changes that are uh, in the source control repository. And there it is, success is the status. So if I come over here and now I refresh, this is the Azure web app right there. Refresh that. And now instead of the default Azure page, I now get the code that is in my source control. And that's pretty nice. But what's really, really nice is that now that I've got this connection between this, my Azure web app, and this, my GitHub repository, then I can make changes to this. So for example, this section right here that says application uses in H2, let's say I want to make a simple change to say um, GitHub and Azure integration rocks exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. I will save those changes here 
and then push those changes up to GitHub. And let's see, git push origin master will actually push those to GitHub. And now I've changed those, so that, that change that I made, if I go to my GitHub repository, I'll see it here. In, oops, not here, but here under pages, you'll see that index has changed. I'll refresh that. should say it changed just a few seconds ago. Right there, that's the page that I changed. See under deployment, now I have another deployment automatically kicking off. It detected that GitHub has changed, and therefore it's pulling that code into Azure. And now it's success, it's all good. This is the active one. If I go back to the page right now and refresh it, then this is the piece that I changed here. Instead of saying application uses, it now says GitHub and Azure Operation Rock. So my changes were automatically deployed. I didn't have to do anything in Azure. I can simply do this. In this video, I've shown you how to configure an Azure web app to connect to a GitHub source code repository and automatically pull changes from that repository whenever you push any code into your source control repository. This is David. Thank you for watching.